Or you can do that. Uh, if this doesn't get together. There's something something very special about it. As I, you know, uh, as is you know sort of the protocol for uh, events. You know, especially when they're you know elected officials and former elected officials and former you know. Uh, senior officials and current senior officials sit in city government go around and, and, and do the acknowledgments. Uh, there are just too many of you to do it. <laughs> we'll be here all day. And, you know, Jim and Sue and Maria and, and all the grandchildren um, fully appreciate just uh, what a special occasion this is and what, just how uh, amazing it is that um, there's this such, out, this such an outpouring of affection for, uh, for Arthur. First of all, you know, let me say thank you very much to all of you. I, I can't tell you how much this means, you know, to myself, and my sister, and my mother, and you know, our, just our entire family, and just to have our, you know, my, my father's grandchildren um, be able to see this and, and to actually hear this and see a room filled with people, you know, who you know, loved him and uh, you know, worked so closely with him and really made up a lot of his life. And it's uh, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. I, I can't tell you how much it means to us. I can just say, I think something that everyone here can acknowledge is true. I mean, my grandfather, he cared so much about this wonderful city. He cared about the law. And he you know, worked in D.C., but decided to come back home, raise a family, continue his legacy of service right here in the city of New Bedford. And even through the end, he cared so much about this city. As all of you, I think, know, he couldn't even last, I'm sure, a week into retirement before he came back to City Hall and in return to serve. He was a mentor to each and every one of us. Um, we learned not just about the black letter law, but how to approach things practically. And as the mayor mentioned, he had a tremendous sense of humor. So you usually go to him with a question, we talk about, analyze the law, talk about what situation worked for the city, learn about why things are the way they are in Bedford, but typically we're done you know, with a, with a big laugh. I've known Arthur for a lot longer than the 14 years that I've served here on the City Council. But every single one of us who has served on the New Bedford City Council <coughs> since Arthur joined the city in 1969 has absolutely great respect for that man. Arthur Karen was a great man. His family was lucky to have him, and we were very lucky to have him, to be sharing with him. It's a, it's a loss for our city. We appreciate that. We're going to forever uh, have him with us by having his picture in the law library dedicated to him. And uh, I know that all of you would join me in thanking him for what he did for the city. Yeah, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> or you can do that. Uh,